Let's get the reverbs off. Hey, welcome back to World Drum Club. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you a rhythm, 12-8 rhythm or 6-8 rhythm. We're gonna be learning about clave, 6-8 clave. In fact, I'm gonna show you everything that you were just hearing in that, um, in that little piece. I've got it in the looper. We're gonna to listen to all the parts, break it down for you. You're welcome in advance. All right. First of all, let's take a look at what we're looking at. Um, if you I want to draw your attention to the top row, the white row, and that is our count, right? We're doing two bars of six, eight. So I do have it numbered uh, up to 12. The second row is our six, eight clave. And that is really fun, related to rumba clave. Today, we're going to be just doing the six, eight clave. We'll learn that. Then the top uh, colored row, the green row, is our uh, high drum. And then the blue row is the low drum, and the bottom row is our kind of our dance step. Um, I've got that in the chickade, in the chickade part. So let's go through and listen to all of those parts one by one. And I've got the uh, just a little backing track thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's our two bars, and you can just tap along with me. And let's go with the clave part. Right? Ba, 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 ba. Um, um, let's add the shake it A on the beat. Add the high drum. And the low drum. So now I know you're probably wondering, what are all those letters? What do they mean? I'm gonna explain right now. So let's go back to the overhead view. Don't worry, I got you guys. Hang on a second. All right, so um, capitals are, in this case, right hand, dominant hand. Uh, if you're left-handed, switch everything around. But um, capital letters are the right hand, lowercase letters are the left hand. B, it just stands for bass. T is for tone, open tone. H and F, um, I use hand finger. You could think of that as heel toe if you want. Some people teach heel toe. I teach hand finger. If, you're, if you've been on the channel, you know that. And that's basically it. So that's, that explains it. Let's go uh, and learn now the green line, the high drum part. And we're gonna start with bass, bass. Right, left, bass, bass. There you go. Bum, bum. And then tone, tone in the right hand. And then hand fingers in the left. That's it. And then it repeats. So I'm going to go slowly. And you can tap along, play along, play in your lap, play in your drum, whatever you have available. Not the steering wheel. You should not be watching this while driving. But you can do it while you're parked. Bass, bass, tone, tone, hand, fingers. Bass, bass, tone, tone, hand, fingers. Bass, bass, tone, tone, hand, fingers. Right, left, right, right, left, left. Okay, so let me do that with the clave and the shekere. Here we go.
time. Okay. Are you with me? You, can, you guys can skip back if you need to. Uh, let's go on and we're gonna look at the low drum part. And it, for those of you who are astute observers, you'll notice it's the same pattern. It's just shifted over, right? It's shifted later in this case, uh, a couple eighth notes. So it's the same thing. So you've already been playing it. We just start with the hand fingers in the left, right? So hand fingers, bass, bass, tone, tone. Same pattern. We're just starting at a different time. So hand fingers, bass, bass, tone, tone. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Let's go. One, two, one, two, three, let's go. buttons in here. I need an assistant. <laughs> Are you guys liking this? This is pretty fun, right? So this relates to Rumba Columbia, which would be played much faster. I wanted to do this slowly. I kind of like it slow, though. It's got a cool groove. And um, for patrons, uh, I'm going to show you how you can do this pattern on one drum. So if you want to continue this lesson and, and learn how to do it on one drum, you can probably figure it out yourself because you guys are smart. Obviously, you're here on World Drum Club. So that's a good choice. <laughs> that's a good start. Um, so this is our, our kind of, I'm just gonna say it's a six eight, or you can use the word 12 eight, six eight, two bars of six eight. Um, Afro-Cuban, you know, two drum ensemble with, uh, with the clave. And what I want you to do for your homework is uh, a couple things. One, um, play this clave for a while and then play, uh, listen to something or play rumba clave in 4-4 because a lot of people, I don't know who they are, some people think that you know rumba clave really came out of this clave and they're very similar, right? So dot, 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 and then dot, 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 dot. They're just right next to each other, all right? So check that out, it's kind of interesting. And then when you play each part, like if you're, say you're playing the low part, da, 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 da. What I want you to do is play that and do exactly what I just did. Play each part, high drum, low drum, with a click and vocalize the clave, all right? Vocalize it, or if you want, I mean, tap it with your foot or something if you want to be fancy. But that is really going to be helpful in your own integration and learning and getting it solid. Because you need to know where all these notes are coming together. You know, the syncopation, the convergence of the rhythms. It's going to be really helpful. And, of course, if you'd like, you could create your own track like this. I just played all these parts into the, into the looper. But you could certainly use a drum machine or, you know, I have play-along tracks online. A lot of people make play-along tracks. Uh, there's apps, you know, that you can use to create a backing track um, with some of these sounds or other sounds, um, rhythms, and just practice along with that. And then get your quinto out once you got all that going and solo a little bit like I was doing at the beginning. Okay, that's really fun. So this can be a three drum ensemble or five person ensemble, two, two drums playing the background rhythm, the ostinato clave, shikere, and then a soloist. So you get four friends and you, and you guys can have a lot of fun with this. And play it at different uh, tempos, slower like this, or you could speed it up. Super fun, you guys. 
All right, that's what I have for you in this lesson. If you'd like uh, to get more, you want to learn more and uh, maybe get some notation for this, uh, of course, you have it on the screen. Meet me at patreon.com slash I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel and helping bring this content not only to all of our drum brothers and sisters all across the world, but uh, into your communities and doing it for yourself. We really appreciate your support. So thank you again to all the patrons who help bring this content to everyone. All right, I'm Kalani. I'll see you all in another lesson. Thanks for watching.